Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and I am so excited to draw today because the animal we're drawing is so cool and very, very unique. Also, it's got lots of cool colors, so that always makes me happy. And thank you guys for showing up and drawing with me today. This is gonna be a blast. All right, let me give you a few hints to see if you can figure out which animal I'm drawing. This animal's a fish, but it doesn't look anything like a fish. They have really cool curved tails and the males or the boys are the ones who carry the eggs until they're hatched. Do you know what kind of fish this is? That's right, we're drawing a seahorse. Seahorses look so, so cool. They're really bright, colorful, fun to draw, but also I have some really amazing facts about them, so I'm really excited to share them with you. Are you guys ready to get drawing? All right, okay, let's make sure we have everything we need and let's get started. All right, let's make sure you have a nice clean sheet of paper out. You're gonna need a pencil so we can do some sketching. We always do sketching first to make sure it looks right before we do our final outline that we can't erase. And we'll do that with a marker or a dark pen. And then we'll need some type of eraser to get rid of all of the pencil underneath, that sketch underneath. And at the very end, we're gonna do some coloring. And when I say it's gonna be fun coloring, I mean it's gonna be a whole lot of fun coloring because seahorses come in lots of different colors, bright colors, and they're really good at camouflage. So you can have a lot of fun with it. Seahorses are a little tricky to draw because they're skeletons on their outside. It's called an exoskeleton. Kind of like when we drew like grasshoppers and beetles, their skeleton, the hard part is on the outside. That's the layer that protects their insides. Whereas in humans, we have our skeleton on the inside. So basically what I'm saying is we're gonna draw a lot of lines, but let's start with the main shape or the outline of our seahorse. So let's start right up here. And we're gonna do a little curve back here. Just follow closely and I'll show you the, the way to do this because I kind of figured out a way to make it so that we can get these really cool spikes on here. So we're gonna go, whoops, we're gonna go back down here like this. And then right when we start to go in, go back out. And we can fix this. We wanna go back out like that. And then we wanna come back around. And we're gonna have this tail this is gonna be the tail, and it's gonna kinda of come around, oops, it's gonna kinda of come around like a little spiral. <sighs> that was not easy to draw. If you need to clean it up, that's totally fine. You might have to redraw it a few times. I kinda of had to do that, but really it's not too important to get it perfect right now. Just kinda of get the main shape and the height on here because now we're gonna add the other side and we're gonna make some changes after that. So let's start with maybe right about, right about here. And we're going to come out. We're going to kind of follow what we did over here, but we're going to give it more of a belly. This is going to be the belly part. So watch. Maybe I need to curve a little bit more like that. And we'll bring it back to about here. So you can maybe just draw a little line here too so you know where the top of the tail is going to be. And so we're going to kind of give it a little bit of a belly. <laughs> there we go. So it's like a stretched out S. And we can keep messing with this like I want to do right now, but what's more important is that we get all the pieces on there and then we can go back and erase to make sure it's the right width and, and, and length and things like that. So right now we need to figure out the head. Let's do a little circle right here. And this is why they call them a seahorse because their heads look like horses, a lot like horses, like the neck of a horse right here. And then they have the kind of the long snout with the tiny little mouth on the front. So let's take this, and instead of following this circle, I'm gonna start up here and draw what they call the coral net. It's like a little crown, or it looks like little horns on the top of their head, and they're all different. It's kind of how they tell each other apart. They're very unique little crowns on their heads. Like that. And then we're gonna do it one more time over here. Do the same type of thing, we're gonna kinda of go out like this. And this is where the mouth is. So we're gonna stretch that out. See how it can kind of look like a horse? It almost looks like a chess piece, the knight on a chess piece if you play chess. My son loves chess. But there we go, and then let's go, maybe we can keep that circle on the bottom. It kind of looks like the jowls there on our horse. And then we'll go like this. Just kind of round it off. And then this is gonna go right about there. Almost like it's got a little trumpet for a mouth. And of course I make very friendly animals, so I'm gonna kinda go like this back around and make it smile. All right, so now I'm gonna draw a line back here and you can do whatever you want. Maybe you wanna have it have to be spikes. 
You want to have other little things up here like that. They have all sorts of different things coming off the sides of their heads. So if you want to do something really fun and unique, that's how they separate themselves. So maybe you could draw yours very differently. I'm just going to draw mine like this, but don't feel obligated to do exactly what I do right here. Now there is a part coming up that it's important to kind of stick to what I'm doing just because I'll show you how to get those spikes and the exoskeleton on there. Other than that, you can go ahead and do whatever you want. All right, so now we gotta draw our eye. Let's draw the big eye on here. They have really cool eyes. Each eye, so they have another eye on the other side of their head, obviously. And on the other side, that eye could be doing something completely different than what this eye is doing. They can move independently of each other. So like we, if we look over, all of our eyes kind of go the same direction, unless you can do your eyes crossed. But their eyes can go all over the place and they can see all sorts of stuff, which is kind of wild. Okay, now we got it. So pretty much, if you went like this, you pretty much drew a horse. <laughs> and then down at the bottom, I get this cool little spiral tail. So watch, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna bring it back like this. And the tail's gonna get thinner and thinner as we get towards the end, like our snake tails. All right, so I'm gonna go down like that. It's gonna start getting smaller, so you just gotta keep playing with it. Now the thing is, is we're not gonna keep all these lines. We're actually gonna get rid of some of them here in a second. I'll show you. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Now this might, I can also make this a little bit thinner. It looks like it's getting too thick too fast. All right, so now we got our little spiral in there. We gotta, oh, we gotta add, so it is a fish, and I didn't know that. I just, I don't know what I thought a seahorse was, but it is a fish. And you could tell it's a fish because of its anatomy. It has pectoral fins right over here. So if you wanna draw those, you can kinda go like this. And you can kind of add that right there. You can also add another little thing here because they have gills. We'll draw little lines right there. And they have a dorsal fin on the back. And that's what propels them forward when they're trying to move and swim. We'll draw a little, little squiggly line on there. And then we'll draw the little lines. And we'll go over those more with our, our pen. So that's how it moves around, that's how it steers, and it can go up and down because it has what's called a swim bladder. It allows it to float and to rise or sink in the water. Now this is looking awesome, but we're missing one important element, the exoskeleton. So let me show you what I'm gonna do for that. Let's draw a line right about here. And we're gonna bring it all the way back, kind of match it to the outside, just a little bit in. And I'm gonna bring that to this point right here. So watch, I'm gonna go like this, and bring it straight down. And then I'm gonna have another one started right about here. And it's gonna come down and kind of match this outside one too. And it's gonna match up right there in that spot as well. And from there, we're gonna start drawing our lines. Now these lines are really important. One, because that's what it looks like, but two, it'll help you get the spikes right on the back. Okay, so here's my technique for drawing spikes. Just a little, draw the lines a little bit past there. We're gonna start drawing lines like this. We're gonna have them go out. Draw some more lines. And we can do that over here too, it's okay. Just have them go a little bit, that's where we wanna do the spikes on the back. So we'll have those go a little bit longer and then we'll draw one right there. And then on this end, we can keep doing that down here on the tail, it makes it a little easier. But remember, as it starts to go down towards the end of the tail, you can start curving them as well to kind of keep going towards the center. So this is what I do now. I just go and do little U shapes and connect them all, like this. Isn't that easy? That way you know now where everything goes and all the lines will match up with the points of the spikes like that. And you just keep going and connecting all of those little lines. All right, now doesn't that look super cool? Now obviously we're not gonna have to draw in all those things with our outlines, so we might have to do some erasing or just ignore it for right now. And then uh, on this side, I'm just gonna leave that flat. Now it does have some ridges, but it's not the same. All right, so now we just need to start outlining. And I'm gonna do those spikes first so that we don't get messed up. You can see what I'm doing here. 
I'm just gonna follow exactly what I did and I'm not gonna do that extra line inside there. We're just gonna forget about that one just because we were just using that one as a guide, the outside line. Now we're taking this all the way down to the tail, the little spike. Now they use their tail for lots of different things. They have a really strong tail. They use it for defending themselves. They can smack things with it to keep them away. Most things don't actually try to eat it though. Maybe they're fighting another seahorse is where they'll really use their tail. They don't have to fight off too many predators because they're so bony. They don't have a lot of meat in them. So a lot of animals don't really care to eat them. Only crabs really care <laughs> to eat them. So they have to watch out for those. But yeah, the tail will help defend themselves. It'll help them also uh, cling on to things when there's like the water's like really rough and it's blowing them around. They can hold on to stuff like rocks and things with those strong tails. And they also do what's like, uh, it looks like they're holding hands. They basically hold their hands with their significant other. They'll like, they'll like link up their little tails and hold on to each other. Yeah, that's pretty cute, isn't it? All right, let's do this stomach on here. Now, if this is a male seahorse, this stomach right here also has a pouch, kind of like a kangaroo. And the female can lay like dozens to hundreds of eggs at a time. And she puts them in that little pouch in his belly and then he carries them around until they're born. Isn't that cool? The dad does that. All right, let's do this back dorsal fin. If you've ever seen them swim around, it is crazy looking. You'll have to have your parents help you look up a video of a seahorse swimming. It looks so interesting. And I think it's really fascinating that there's another, there's a fish that looks like a horse. <laughs> it really does look like a horse up here in the face, especially in this long snout up here. And it might be long and, and really tiny, but it eats a lot of food. It eats all the time. It's digestive system. That means the way that your food goes in your belly through your intestines and comes out after you go to the bathroom, how fast it comes out of your body. It comes out of their body very, very fast. So they have to keep eating to keep their energy. So they eat a ton of food, especially baby seahorses. All right, so let's draw that big friendly eyeball. All right, now let's draw their pectoral fin right here. Helps them swim around. And then maybe a gill right here. All these things that make it a fish. I'm gonna do some lines in here. There you go. Oh, I gotta do some lines on this one too. I'm kind of ignoring my pencil marks and that's okay. Like I said, a lot of times I just use my pencil just to kind of get a rough idea of what I want. And I don't follow it too much sometimes. All right, so let's finish our exoskeleton. So cool, they look really bony. I was really worried about drawing this with you guys because I felt like it might be really difficult to draw. But you guys are very, very talented and creative, so I'm not too worried. I was more worried about myself trying to figure out an easier way to teach this. But I know you guys got it in you to, to make a really awesome seahorse. And maybe you didn't do the spikes. Maybe that was a little tricky. You can do it without the spikes and it still looks like you can add some stripes inside and everything about this says seahorse. So you're pretty good, even though you may get some things different than what I do. And even if it's different, that's okay. Maybe you're doing it on purpose and that's really brave. Deciding to make something unique in your own. That takes a lot of guts. Cause there's a lot of people who get scared of what other people think. And when we do that, it stops us from doing some really cool things in life. We got to worry about all these other things. We will start worrying about what other people think and we stop creating what's important to us. And that's not right. So you know, that's why I always talk about how brave you guys are. It's, you have to be brave to be an artist. To really show people what you what you're thinking and how you see the world. That's really cool. 
All right, well, I'm really excited with how this is looking. It's gonna be so much fun to color, and hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. I always look forward to the coloring part. All I need to do now is just erase some of this sketch underneath here and get rid of all that, and uh, I'll be ready to go. But let's meet up right after we color. My seahorse is finished! Now they're known for their camouflage capabilities and I'm not sure how much this color would help them <laughs> um, out there in the wild, but uh, regardless, it was really fun to draw. And I think I've come up with a name for him. His name's gonna be Clyde. I like the name Clyde. Clyde the seahorse. And I'm really proud of how he turned out, so I need to sign my name on it so everybody knows that this is my drawing and I'm proud of it. Put my initials right there and we'll call this done. Well, as always, I appreciate you guys drawing with me. It's the highlight of my day. Remember, we do this Monday through Friday, so feel free to subscribe to the channel, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like so that I can keep doing more videos just like this. And of course, I would love to see what you guys are creating. I would love to see your seahorse. So tell your parents to go on Instagram and just tag us at Brave Kids Art Club. That way I get a chance to see your amazing work. And speaking of amazing work, stick around to the very, very end because I'm gonna show some of your work that you guys have submitted to me and it's amazing. So I wanna show that off, stick around. But before I go, remember, be brave, be creative, and most importantly, be you. All right, we'll see you guys. Before you guys go, I wanted to show off some of your work, so stick around and see if yours is in here. Thanks guys, you guys are awesome!